Clive Sinclair, the man who brought you Jet Set fucking Willie. Alright folks, how's it going? So, I finally got myself a ZX Spectrum and as you can see, not only did I get a Spectrum I bought myself a ZX81 at the same time uh, Yeah, um, if you have been following my channel for any length of time you probably know the story behind the Spectrum um, I have went over it several times but I will go over it again anyway for those uh, new subscribers uh, back in the 80s, uh, all my friends had Spectrums and I had begged my parents to get me a Spectrum for Christmas and I spent months begging them, telling them I wanted a Spectrum uh, so come Christmas morning, I don't know what year it was, maybe 82, 83, 84, thereabouts uh, Christmas morning I got a Dragon 32 for Christmas and yeah if you haven't seen it already I'll put a link down in the description to my Dragon 32 video so yeah I hated the Dragon back in the day um, basically because it wasn't a Spectrum all my friends had Spectrums uh, when I got the Dragon I didn't know anybody else who had a Dragon I couldn't copy games from anyone None of the shops, local shops, had any software for the Dragon. It was just a nightmare. So it's taken me 30 years to finally get myself a Spectrum. And I was feeling a bit flush <laughs> for a week. And uh, basically I bought this. It has been uh, AV modded. So there's no RF on it. It just plugs straight into a uh, component. Or composite, sorry. And yeah, it's working perfectly. Um, when it first arrived, there was uh, five keys. I think H, J, K, L, and Enter didn't work. But it was actually a loose. That one of the ribbon cables had came loose inside during the postage. Um, so yeah, it has been was AV modded by the guy I bought it off, and it has also had a new keyboard membrane fitted. So basically it's as new, you know, it probably works better than it, it did when it was new. Um, the ZX81 is unmodified. Um, I did actually manage to get it tuned into my little LCD portable TV. Um, I got it tuned in but the, the picture kept going and when it loses a picture it just goes to a blue screen. So I managed to get it tuned in long enough to test it and it's working perfectly so I'm actually gonna do probably do an AV mod on this as well but I still haven't decided because I do have a couple of old portables so I'll bring them down and test them and if I can get a really good RF signal into the, the old portable TV I may just leave this as is so both of these are boxed the uh, the Spectrum box is in really good nick it absolutely stinks though I will say that about it um, it's been in a loft for a long time so it's all sort of musty smell of it it's fucking stinking so it is it's actually you know, really strong if you move the box at all you get a big whiff of it so yeah it's the, the box for the Spectrum there it's uh, it does have things and there's a bit of sellotape along here as well. It's not mint by any means, but it's 
complete and yeah, not too bad, no rips or anything major on it. And it has the poly inserts. Uh, it didn't come with any of the paperwork, so I have yet to source them on eBay. It also came with the, its original power supply and its original tape leads. And the box for the ZX81 is in pretty bad shape. It does have its poly inserts and it did come with its paperwork. It came with its user manual and like an advertisement leaflet. But the box is the outer sleeve of the box. The polystyrene is actually okay. But as you can see there, half of the back is missing off a uh, big rip out of it there. But you know, it's it was cheap enough. Um, I was happy enough with the price I paid for this, and yeah, that'll do. Um, if I really get into it, I may in the future buy you know a, one with a, a mint condition box. But at the meantime, I'm quite happy with the condition of that as it is. So while I'm here, I'd like to give a huge thanks to Mark. Uh, his channel is now called the Retro Gaming Wheels. We used to know him as Handheld Retro. Yeah, uh, good old Mark. Um, sent me a message on Facebook there. Uh, I've found something that you might like. And he wouldn't tell me what it was. And he sent me a parcel, basically, which arrived the next day. And inside were three uh, software games, or software tapes for the Spectrum. And they're in absolutely beautiful condition. Uh, the first one is Macmillan, uh, Sinclair and Macmillan Science Horizons Survival. And they're all in these little sort of clamshell cases. And they're really, really nice condition as you can see there. And they're all complete and they all work because I've actually tested them. Next one is uh, Make a Chip. Again, complete. I'm in superb condition. Sorry about the light. This house is terrible for light, natural light. I basically need to do stuff in the garden to get a decent light. Uh, and I'm not spending the money on expensive studio lights. Uh, and the last one is Password 2, which is basically a notepad. It's a basic. Uh, word or sort of you know word documents that sort of thing where you can type stuff out and print it So yeah, thank you uh, Very much mark. I really really appreciate it and I would recommend everyone go check out Mark's channel um, He has been in the community for quite a while and He does all the, the cool stuff that the rest of us do and he actually done a really good series of videos where he went around his local retro shops with uh, another YouTuber. So yeah, go check out Mark's channel and uh, say thank you from me. So I'm absolutely over the moon to get a Spectrum. Um, I'll give you a bit of uh, background about the ZX81. Uh, really, the, the only reason I bought these is because they're very nostalgic. Both machines are very nostalgic for me. The Spectrum, I didn't own one like I said, but m my best mate across the street had one. And I would always go across to his house and we would always play Jetpack or Manic Manor, but usually Jetpack. So that's my main memory from the old Spectrum. The ZX81 we actually had one of these in primary school. Uh, I think I was in P6 or P7 when our school got this. Apparently, we were told at the time that we were the only school in Northern Ireland to have a computer. <laughs> and it was a ZX81. So yeah, that's how old I am. Now, it would have been around about 1981-82, thereabouts when I was in uh, P6 or P7. Um, so I remember vividly uh, when you walked into our classroom um, the door would have opened that way as you walked in and behind the door when it was open was the stationery cupboard and I remember I think it was like a Friday you would have, you would have had a couple of hours computer studies and I remember the teacher getting the box 
and this I remember the box as well you know this uh, picture and the, the letter and the stripes um, I remember he would have lifted this out of the cupboard brought the TV over on the trolley uh, excuse me and yeah would get the, the ZX81 out I don't remember if it had a, a RAM pack attached to it uh, that part of the memory is gone but yeah <laughs> that was our school computer we had one one computer in the school um, later on when I went to secondary school we had BBC micros uh, we had like a computer classroom and there was maybe a dozen BBC micros in there that you would have been then uh, you know for a period or two and done your your computer studies which basically consisted of us playing granny's garden on the BBC <laughs> so yeah I, I, like I said I'm absolutely over the moon to get the the spectrum and the ZX81 just makes it all the more uh, special for me um, I have waited 30 years actually 32 years 32 years probably thereabouts to get one of these things um, I've never had the spare cash before um, just to drop on it I actually paid paid 70 quid for this which is a lot but because it was AV modded and had the new membrane fitted the new keyboard membrane I thought it was worth it and it may have been boxed as well <coughs> you know when I was looking through eBay I seen this one at 70 quid and then the next one down, the person was looking over a hundred quid for it, and it was, you know, in worse condition. So I thought it was a no-brainer. I uh, had the spare cash there, so I thought, yeah, why not? Why not get one that's gonna last? Uh, the ZX eighty one, I paid thirty five pounds for, it, which again I thought was a good deal because when you look at like the, the next listing down, you know, they're looking sixty, seventy, eighty quid for it, people just being greedy. But this was on a bat knife for £35, so I thought, yep, yeah, give me it. And as you can see, the, the computer itself is in lovely condition. Both both of them are in lovely condition. Um, like the ZX81 box is tatty, but really it doesn't bother me in the slightest. I'm just happy to, to actually get one of these. So I will actually uh, get a RAM pack for this, a 16K RAM pack. Um, the Spectrum, I'd like to get uh, a joy joystick interface for it and obviously some software for both of them but really I'm not going to go mad, it's not going to be a, a huge collection although as I've said that in the past and then you know, I go mad but <laughs> that's my plan, it's just to get, uh, I'd like to get a joystick for this get the RAM pack for this and just get some software for them and enjoy the machines for what they are so that's it guys, I think I've rambled on long enough about these. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed watching, catch you in the next video, bye for now.